Boom. Black Powder, Woodland Indians Tribe. American War of Independence, 1776 to 1783. Let's go ahead and open this one up. We have uh, one, two, three uh, spurs here. There's a total of 24 uh, Woodland Indians on here, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight per sprue. And it looks like uh, the eight uh, bases come with. Um, these are made by War Games Factory. Um, so I, my, my history with them is they are fiddly, fiddly to put together. So um, I still don't mind their details. I think they're pretty dang good. So um, yeah, now you can also use these for uh, the tribes of the French and Indian War too, like the Delaware tribe, the Miami tribe, and... Uh, Oh, what is it? Uh, something Fox Tribe or something. There's there's quite a few tribes uh, and all that. So, but here it gives you an example of the arms and the extras. You know, it's all uh, as usual. It ha all has like arms with the same marking. G2, for example, are paired and can be used together. So you know you got to line them up with uh, what you have. I'm sure you could cut them, cut some of the arms and give them different poses and all that. So. I do enjoy the diagram on the back of the sprue. Uh, it'd be easier on my eyes to locate things instead of looking at the coordinates on the on the the numbers on the sprue here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll build a couple up and uh, we'll see what it's like having them built up. Okay, I build uh, four of them for examples here. Um, like I said, this uh, Warlords bought out War Games Factory a while back, whatever. So these are War Games Factory minis. They're not bad detail wise. Uh, I do enjoy that. They are fiddly though, because you are putting the arms on. You're, you got to put, uh, if you want them to have a knife and then uh, the horn on there and the big old club. You also got to put on the the little hair uh, the hairdress, whatever it has to be glued on too. So pretty much you're building up the whole dang thing. They provide you the the legs and the torso, and you do everything else. So I kind of like this one. He's he's leaping up there, whatever. It's pretty cool. Um, this one he has. Uh, I used to remember the name of that weapon that they had back then. Um, and then here's another one with the headdress on the back. So, uh, I didn't put a knife on him yet. I will. So, there you go. Um, and here's another one with the club. This one, he's just coming right at you. Oh, yeah! So, and I got to put the horn on there and his knife. So, and then one leaning down. He's loading up the, loading up the rifle. Let's get whatever you want to call it. So... Pretty cool. Um, they have a couple pretty much the same kind of poses. You can cut the arms a little bit or maybe mix the arms up, mix, mix, you know, mix and match a little. But um, you have to put that head, head, headdress, hairdress on too. So, um, And then uh, there's some uh, necklace, like a bone necklace you could put on there around their neck if you want. So um, yeah, I'm, I might go all out on these detail-wise with the other little uh, things you can add to them, or who knows. It just depends on if I feel like uh, spending more time getting these done, or just hurry up and get them done and prime them and paint them and get them on the table. So, again, uh, it's the Woodland Indians tribe um, for uh, Black Powder, uh, American Independence, War, American War of Independence, Revolutionary War, so much easier to say. And um, also, you can use these for uh, French Indian. So, alrighty, well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Comments, advice, please uh, leave down below. Uh, sub if you haven't. And I got more on the way. And I'll see you guys later on. Hey, and be good to each other. <laughs> see you guys. Bye.